How's it going everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K, the Lonely Hermit, and today is January's episode 26 of the Pokemon Platinum Run by Nuzlocke, and today we're heading towards Victory Road, and who knows how long this episode is going to be. I'm not going to make a guess. Uh, I'm not going to make a guess this time as to how long this episode is going to be, but we're just going to take on Victory Road, and that is that we'll end at the Pokemon League, because we're almost there. Um, but before we get into all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you're a subscriber, be sure to leave a like on the video. I also have a Twitter and Instagram, both at HermanLonely underscore. Be sure to check those out in the description down below. I also stream around Twitch at LonelyHermit underscore underscore. Uh, yeah, check all that good stuff out in the description. Drop follows while you are there. I am also a part of a Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green. Of course, it's Pokemon. Why would also be a uh, fire red leaf green uh, rival lock with Infernoman? So be sure to check that series out as well. It bounces between my channel and his. So, of course, like, go subscribe to his channel to keep up with that series. And that's it. Like I said, today we're going into Victory Road. I'm going to stay on like 1.5 and we're just going to try and coast. I did not take on these trainers yet. I also don't know what HMs I actually need. I think I have. Well, I'll actually, I should go over the team real quick because you're going to notice right now that. A little higher than I was in the uh, last episode, obviously. So I'll give you guys like a very brief team recap. Let's see if this kills. Of course, it's gonna kill. It's a jump bluff. Uh, so that's Clara kills that. For it, actually, I don't know what I'm saying. I could do it in battle. Uh, we have Clara the Drag, uh, Dragonite, <laughs> Guard Chomp, level 55. Everyone's level 55. Uh, Clara is holding leftovers. Doom's level 55, holding the Razor Fang. Fear learned Lava Plume, which could be nice, could be nice. Um, who else? What else? Uh, Stinks. I had I gave Stinks the uh, Scope Lens because it's a higher crit ratio and uh, already has... It gives the higher crit ratio and Stinks already has Night Slash, which is a higher crit ratio as well. So hopefully that comes in clutch. I gave Donya the Quick Claw. Tisk also has a qu uh, Quick Claw. Uh, Tisk, I thought Waterfall uh, because I... You guys may have noticed I'm past the part where the cutscene happened. Where you run into Barry and Jasmine gives you a uh, waterfall. I accidentally ran into that yesterday uh, after I was done recording. So it's, it was nothing crazy. It was just Barry telling you he's going to beat you or something. I don't know. Uh, and then Jasmine gives you waterfall. And that's that. That's that. And she wishes you luck, of course. Um, but yeah, that's that's the team. Everyone's level 55. Just it, I'm just getting ready for um, for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Elite Four. Because Cynthia's 62. By the time we get to her, everyone will probably be like 56. I probably should have started in front of Victory Road, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, it's all good. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically what we're handling today. We're handling Victory Road, getting that out of the way and getting very close to finishing the series. But something I did not talk about last episode that happened um, during my vacation was Chelsea won the Champions League and I was incredibly happy. I was probably like, I know I had my birthday, but that was like the highlight of of the of the little vacation I took was was watching that happen. It was a it was a a very very well played game from Chelsea. They played incredibly well that game. Um, and I know you could not only you guys obviously watch soccer, care about soccer or football, um, but I do. So <laughs> that was a really really. Um, it was a really, 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 really awesome moment to witness because back in... So the Champions League, for those of you who don't know, is essentially the biggest tournament for all European teams. Um, and arguably the biggest club competition in the world, not necessarily on an international stage because that's like the World Cup. Um, but the Champions League is essentially the biggest... I mean, for it, I believe there's a Champions League for every continent. I think for North America, we have our own. I think, I don't know. I think South America gets involved in ours. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think it's in North America. I know Asia has one. I think Africa has one. Oh, I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure. But the the Champions League, I mean, uh, the best teams in, in the world are, are in Europe. They really are. So um, that's why the Champions League in Europe is held at such a high regard. The UEFA Champions League. I guess I should say because UEFA is for Europe. Um, UEFA is the government for soccer in Europe, basically. Um, <laughs> to, uh, but essentially, by winning that, you're kind of like not necessarily. You are. I don't know. It, it, by winning it, you're you're technically. I can't use that. You're technically the best team in Europe. Um, and quite possibly the world because, like I said, the best teams play in Europe. 
Um, there are good other good teams, but I mean the the caliber of players that are in Europe just dwarfs everyone else around the world. All the other uh, like countries, you know what I mean. Um, so essentially, for Chelsea, winning that is is just it's a pretty big deal because halfway through Chelsea's Chelsea season, it was not looking very pretty. Um, they were really struggling, doing not doing well in the league. Uh, just it, everything was looking very bleak back in January, but I held held my faith. I held my faith. Uh, you guys noticed back then I still wore my Chelsea jerseys. I didn't care. I didn't care how bad they were doing. I still stuck by my team. And now, what? Five months later, four months later, uh, they are technically the best team in Europe. <laughs> so uh, it's just, it was just a really really cool moment, and I was going ballistic going really crazy because I was really happy that uh, they managed to turn around the season and did incredibly well um, just completely turned the season around from where from where they were back in January to now nobody even expected them to be anywhere near the final and yet they ended up winning it which is crazy but back in the last time Chelsea won this and the only other time Chelsea's won this was back in 2012 um, at the time I was very on and off I was 11 uh, I was very on and off with soccer as in watching it. Uh, I couldn't really keep up with it um, Didn't really have the resources to keep up with it uh, Obviously my favorite team is from Europe, so it's hard because they rarely especially back then nowadays It's a lot more common, but back then it wasn't as common for them to uh, Put games out on TV from Europe from uh, those leagues out there Um that's why it was, it was difficult to try and keep up, but I still tried. I was trying, but when by the time they got to that final, I was kind of not watching any soccer anymore. Like the last soccer I had watched up to that point was the World Cup from 2010, um, and so it so missing that sucked. I mean, I saw that they won. I was really happy, but at the time, also, I didn't fully understand professional, the professional side of it. I played, but I didn't understand, obviously, the professional side of it. Um, but being able to actually witness it firsthand, them winning the Champions League because it's such a big deal, uh, was incredible. And it was, it was just, it was just like, like I said, highlight of that that week I took off was was watching them do that. I was, I guess, I was going crazy. It was funny because there was just one point during the the broadcast where the uh, the commentators were uh, they were talking there, and then at one point, one of the commentators he said something to the likes of, "If you're, oh my God, what did he say? If you're, if you're a committed fan, you're behind the couch right now." Which, which was really funny because I was standing behind the couch and my dad was sitting on the couch and he looked at me and I was like, yep, see, see, they know, <laughs> they know. It was, like, but it was a really weird moment, but I mean, it makes sense. Like I couldn't sit down. Like I was sitting at the start of the second half, but I eventually like, like five minutes in, maybe I stood up and I was behind the couch because I couldn't sit down. I was so nervous. Um, and yeah, so that, that was a really funny moment in, in the game. Uh, do we have the less? I feel like we have the lustrous orb. Um, we're at eight minutes. We're not even in Victory Road. Give me one second. I'll catch up with you guys when we're in Victory Road, and then I'll keep talking to you because I just noticed where we're at on time. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're in Victory Road. I picked up useless by the way because you need like seven HMs. You need all HMs. You don't, but you need a lot of HMs for this stupid Victory Road. This is probably one of my least favorite. Uh, alongside, I think old school Hoens, you needed a lot of them too, but. This one sucks because you need you need like five HMs. But regardless, um, like I was saying, I was really really happy to be able to witness Chelsea for like winning firsthand, and it was just it was just a really really good time. Um, just watching that whole game, I, I I was really happy. I was really really happy. Um, like I said, especially watching Chelsea struggle throughout the season and go through their troubles. Um, and turning it around at the end, I was really, really happy. And to be arguably, probably the best team in the world, um, just from a skill level and how how good Manchester City are, uh, to beat them as well the way we did so dominantly, it was just a really, really, really thorough thorough performance from us. And I was really, really happy. I was, I was just, I was just really happy <laughs> to watch it. But that leads to uh, that whole long-winded thing leads to my question of the day. Which is what do you guys enjoy doing um, outside of, or some of your favorite things like to watch or to 
do whatever outside of video games i was gonna say pokemon but then i was like eh, i guess people could still say video games which isn't bad if your answer is still video games you know what more power to you because that's awesome video games are amazing and why wouldn't you want to play them all the time but outside of that do you guys have anything else drawing uh cooking uh making videos editing doing uh, things like that uh let me know down below what are some of the some of the things you guys enjoy doing going hiking every day or i don't know uh i don't know i can't even think of something in my head but <laughs> let me know down below some hobbies some things you like doing some things you have fun doing um for me obviously soccer uh football i love i love that i love watching i mean certain sports in general are cool to watch i think um I don't know. For me, soccer, soccer is just very entertaining because there's just kind of always something going on. Uh, it's rare you get a game that's that's boring. It's rare you get a game that's just there's no action at all. Um, especially if you understand the game and you understand it from a tactical point of view, uh, and you can understand why the game might be slower. I think you have. Oh, okay, I'm <sighs> nine levels above. These trainers shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to handle the trainers pretty easily, but regardless uh once you understand i guess you can say that for any sport uh i did leave donya behind which might have been a mistake but we'll see um i keep cutting myself off i always do that i always cut myself off um but i guess that's with any sport right if you understand it down to a molecular level uh you'll enjoy it a lot more which is fair it's absolutely fair uh like baseball i'm not a big fan of baseball i i will keep up because of my family who are you know fans um it's just hard for me to watch it, it's it's hard I, I i much much prefer watching baseball on tv because it's like i can walk away at any point i can i can go i can have my switch out at the same time i can i can just kind of relax for a while like i don't have to fully focus on the game whereas going to a baseball game it's kind of like there's really nothing else you can do aside from watch the game. I mean, I guess you can have your fun. I guess you can take stuff, but it's like, uh, you know, and I get, I mean, I understand baseball. I know a decent amount about it, um, but it's just one of those sports that I, I find difficult to, to, to not only get interested in, but to stay interested in. Uh, I'm kind of lost already. <laughs> I don't think I go down there. I think I go to that rock climb. How do I? I'm in the first floor and I'm already lost. I'm in the first floor and I'm already lost. Um, uh, I can't go right there. I could go up here though. Okay. Um, but yeah, uh, basketball is pretty entertaining to watch. I can watch basketball. Uh, it's a lot of timeouts, but I can watch. I think that's why I like soccer the most because it's it's 45 minutes halftime like 10 15 minutes and then another 45 minutes through and through like it is it is a quick it's quick it's it's there's no stoppages usually unless there's like an injury or some or you know the the players decide to start fighting for no reason uh, i get there are certain parts of the sport that are annoying like you know players flopping and doing all that stuff you know that I, i'm not i'm not a big fan of but you know every sport kind of has that like you've been seeing that a lot more in basketball lately and things like that or, or what it kind of annoys me about baseball and football in particular is how protected certain players are, certain positions, I guess, are. Like, the pitchers in baseball uh, and the quarterbacks in football are incredibly protected. The offense in general in football is, is pretty well protected uh, by the rules and stuff. So that is, is a little annoying. Uh, it's kind of the same as goalkeepers in soccer, but like more than likely, if, if a goalkeeper and a player were to, were to clash, the keeper is always more likely to to get the call over the uh, player. I just realized I haven't gotten a counter. I'm like 99.999% sure I have not run into a Pokemon here because I just realized that uh, that um, we have an encounter here. Can you hop this? I think you can, but I, I can't do it right now. Um, so yeah, I enjoy uh, uh, football is another one that's like it's cool. I don't know if I would want to necessarily go watch a game because football technically is only supposed to be an hour long. It's four 15-minute quarters, 
uh, which adds up to 60 minutes. But each game usually averages out to about three to four hours, which is a lot <laughs> way over what it's meant to be. Um, and I get there's timeouts, I get broadcasters, commercials, because, uh, you know, football. I think football is pro arguably the most commercial sport in the world, or at least at, least, at the very least in the U.S., because, oh my god, there's a lot that goes on in terms of, like, money. Like, it's probably one of the most money-driven sports uh, out there. I, I, I can't really say it because there's a lot of sports that are money-driven, let's be real. But I think, that's, I, think, I think American sports in general are pretty commercialized. But that's that's a whole different conversation. Uh, <laughs> but for me, I mean, I enjoy watching sports in general. Obviously, soccer is my favorite. I will watch any soccer game. I, I'm not. I know I'm a Chelsea fan, but I can watch any game. You know, I, even if it's rivals, even if it's Arsenal versus Spurs, like I can still watch that game. It's it's not a big deal to me. Um, I will always be Chelsea. I will always be a Chelsea fan, but I'm, I'm a fan of the sport as well. So. Uh, I get people are very hardcore when it comes to that stuff, and like they will never watch another team. But I, I disagree. I think it's I think it's uh it's okay, <laughs> it's okay to watch other teams, uh if you enjoy the sport. Like if you enjoy the sport and if you have fun watching the sport, then it's okay to watch these other teams play. Because I think that's one of the biggest my biggest gripes with like soccer fans in general, um, is how diehard they are for their teams. And it's cool. Like I get it, but. I think it's okay to like the sport and it's okay to watch other teams like it's not a big deal uh to me like it's i don't know i do it all the time i watch whew, that did a lot of damage i watch uh, a lot of other teams uh regularly like uh okay he didn't crit um i don't know that, that yeah that's a whole that that, that is a whole other conversation as well but um other than that other than sports um, Mm. Uh, but, but doing art stuff like I like making my layouts I do it all the time I talked about it a little bit last episode that I'm ahead on my layouts by quite a bit um, and I, I really am like I'm ahead on my layouts I, I am I'm way too far ahead <laughs> I don't I, I just kind of leave them though I just draft it so that way by the time I actually need it I have a, a nice base to work off of um, I think it's a good thing to do to, to sort of start working on stuff that's uh, ignore that uh, I don't have a lot of heals the that's not good mm. Mm. We'll continue on hopefully it doesn't bite us. It's gonna bite us. I know it is but hopefully it doesn't um, Excuse me But doing my layouts are really fun like today you're gonna call me crazy. I am about What's what month is it June July? August, September, October, November, about five months in advance. Uh, I started working on the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl uh, three reverses layout. And I think it actually came out pretty well. Uh, the logo took me, I think the logo took me longer than everything else. Because I was working on the logo and I, I don't know why, like I, I originally had an idea to do it a certain way. And then when I started doing it, I did it a completely different way. And then what I did is I brought it back to what I originally was thinking of. Uh, if that makes any sense, what I just said. <laughs> um, is this thing really just going to keep substituting itself? That's stupid. Um, so I think it came out really well. I wish I could show you guys, but I want to obviously keep it a secret for the future. Um, I think it came out pretty well. I'm going to run it by the guys later down the line. Like I said, I'm going to just hold on to it for now. Uh, but I also yesterday like I was talking about um, in Monday's episode um, Let me get my encounter real quick actually may as well do that home huh? May as well do that. Let's do that real quick. Let's do that real quick. What do we got? What are we working with? Hi me. Okay, that's cool um, What can I do against this thing? I guess I'll toxic it. Oh, okay. Nope <laughs> um, Yesterday I was talking about it what I'm gonna do for generation eight um, is my layout I made. So after I was done recording, I kind of just started working on the layout, just kind of started spitballing on it. Um, screw it, let's start dust ball. Uh, and honestly, I think it came out really well. I think it's probably one of my favorite layouts I've done, to be honest. I think it came out really well. Um, I was really happy with it. Like, look, I look back at it a couple times since then, and I'm honestly really happy with how it came out. Um, but. It all depends on, it all depends on 
by the time we run around November how the randomized situation for Switch is looking like I mentioned this last episode, I'm not gonna go too far into it again. Um the oh I need to repel. That's why I'm running into Pokemon. <laughs> um Where are they? Right there. Uh, but I just went ahead and made it and it's I, I made it in such a way that I can adjust it if I do end up randomizing it, but I uh, I Really like the way it came out. I really do like I, I Pat myself on the back. I was really happy with how it came out, but Yeah, as soon as the episode ended I just went in like just kind of, yeah, a lot of it is because I have extra time on my hands And I'm just like, you know, what? screw it. Let's let's have some fun work on some layouts um for potential series I have planned to uh, that's that's it's fun. It's a fun thing to do. I've been having a lot of fun doing it um, I know people have asked me like like Derek has said it like why don't you do condi uh, conditions commissions and uh, a lot of it is I don't really like dealing with people and then when money gets involved it gets more complicated like Landon tells me about all the time how people will commission him for stuff or ask him you know hey what can you do this for me and then turn around and go ask and go get a commission from someone else um, and yeah, it's cool having the extra cash from doing commissions, but like I said, I don't like dealing with people. And then when you add money into the equation, I feel like it just gets more complicated. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't want to deal with any of that. So that's why I don't do commissions. That's why I only do my own stuff. Uh, or when I'm collabing with someone, do that stuff, um, as well. Uh, yeah. So like Derek and I are soul link layouts, uh, which by the way, stream today, be sure to check that out. Forgot to mention that. Um, 5 p.m. PST. Be sure to check that out. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a uh, yeah, it's just it's just complicated for me. Like I said, I don't really like talking to people a whole lot. Um, at least I don't know. I don't know. It's complicated because like you have, of course, you have effect effects for like these guys, uh, Landon, Derek. Like you know, I just mentioned Jack. You know, all those guys. Uh, obviously, were new to me when i no when i um when i first got into the community they were all new to me obviously so it's kind of i guess a little contradictory that i say i don't really like talking to people and then turn around and i'm talking to complete strangers on the internet i guess technically even though i've gotten to know the guys really well um i don't know it, it's complicated it really is i'm just not not a big people person <laughs> i'm just not a big people person so that ultimately ultimately has led to my decision to just not do commissions uh and avoid that part of doing layouts and stuff i just yeah uh, i just don't feel like dealing with it <laughs> short story uh long story short rather that's basically it is i just don't feel like dealing with it um i kind of just want to book it to the pokemon league don't look at me <laughs> Don't look at me. I'm ugly, please. Uh, up here. Okay, there's an item. Big Pearl. I don't really need money right now, but sure. Um, I, I keep forgetting that I still have the Cinna Sucks on my, my notepad. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's so there's making layouts. I find that really, really fun. Just doing little art stuff. Um, I did used to draw, and I should probably get back into it. Um, draw a lot. Like the emotes I do and stuff, my process for that is probably way more complicated than it needs to be because what I do is I draw it, put it in Photoshop, then kind of re-go over it because I suck at drawing on computer. I wish I had a tablet that you could draw with, you know, um, like like those HP tablets um, that you could draw on. I wish that, that would be like a, a dream thing right there because that would really help with doing art for the channel and stuff. Um, because it's easier. I can't I can't do it with a mouse. I can't it's so difficult for me um, I'm I'm a pen pencil marker person like I, I need to Do the motions. It's just way easier for me. I know there's tools like I use the tools for making circles and shapes and stuff like that That's different, but actually drawing something new and, and natural like it's it's hard for me on computer um, I would love something to the likes of like the the tablets that you can draw on and stuff that would be awesome um, but regardless, uh, there's drawing. I used to, I don't, I don't do it as much anymore, which again, I probably should do it more. Um, I used to do it all time. I used to do it because I got bored in class. I used to do it. I would get bored in class. So I had this notebook on me, this little composition book on me. It's in, it's in this desk right here. Um, I had it on me where I would just draw some stuff. Um, 
I usually would spend some decent amount of time on it. Let me see if there's any important papers in here <laughs> before I show you guys. Uh, yeah, there's some important stuff in here that I can't show you. <laughs> uh, okay. I think that's pretty empty. So there's stuff like... <sighs> Let me see if I can battle and do this at the same time. Let me see. It should be like right there. Yeah. Uh, there's Napoleon Dynamite from the cartoon. That's what I started drawing with. Uh, there's good old... Good old Timmy Turner. <laughs> Fairly odd parents. <laughs> uh, I went on this weird Invader Zim thing where I drew like four in a row. This one's Gur. I love Gur. Gur's freaking hilarious. Uh, oh wait, here's Marvin the Martian. I like this one. That one took me a second actually to to get the um the sizing right. Cause what I do is I would just take the picture, have it to the side, and just draw it out. I wouldn't trace, but I'm not a tracer. Um. I would just look at it, uh, look at the picture and draw it out and then color it in later. Uh, there's Evil Gur. <laughs> uh, there's Gur riding a pig. This is probably one of my favorite ones. It's freaking hilarious. Uh, here's Zim. Thinking like uh, the mad person he is. Zim yelling. <laughs> here's Baby Zim. Right there. I feel like I'm doing a hard showcase. Uh, <laughs> I just realized that this promo pass used rest. It's so annoying. Uh, there is Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. That one's actually one of the, probably one of the better ones that I did, to be honest. That one actually came out really well. Uh, here's Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. If you guys know who that is. Uh, here's... is probably one of my least favorite ones, but that's Sanic Running. Uh, this one's actually not bad. I forget what picture I based it off of, but that's Sonic, obviously, doing his little, I don't know, thing with his hand. Um, my only problem is, is I, I messed up because I had like blue on my hand from the marker that I was using, and there's like a little blue smudge on it, which is annoying. It sucks. I hate looking at it because it just it makes me so mad. Um, let me put this up to four. We need to get out of Victory Road. I'm, I'm very close to running over time. Uh, I'm gonna try to avoid trainers to the best of my ability. Uh, I think I have to go that way though. Yeah, I do. Ugh. Uh, item power belt. Thank you. Um, uh, quick cut. I didn't really mean to go out, but I was just trying to skip a couple trainers before I uh, continued on. Um, so we're here at the Pokemon League, so I guess I'll finish showing you this stuff real quick. Um, so you have that guy, I forget, he's Sideshow Bob's brother? Uh, Sideshow Bob's, like, nephew, son, something like that. Uh, there's Millhouse. As you can see, I went on, like, a Simpsons thing for a while. Uh, here's Gaku. Little kid Gaku. The centering's off on his head, which is annoying. Here's another little kid Gaku. It's a little bit creepy, but it's okay. It's okay. I think that's it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, I do also have... If you guys were curious. This is the original drawing I did for the channel logo. This is the original drawing I did. Actually, no, that's a lie. Sorry. This is the original drawing I did. But I didn't like it because it was on lined paper. So I ended up transitioning it over to the white paper and then copied it on a copier and then sent it to my computer. And then that's what I used for my profile pic until I fixed it up like a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, this is the original drawing for the channel logo. But that's going to be it for this episode. Like I said, we just wanted to get through Victory Road and that's exactly what we did. Um, we'll be taking on... In the next game, Elite Four, in the next game, in the next episode, the Elite Four in the next episode. Uh, what does this guy have? Let's check him real quick before we end. Thick Club, Chesto, Miracle Seed, Moonstone, Upgrade. Nothing important. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, and if you are new here, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. Don't forget to answer the question of the day, which is, what do you guys like to do outside of video games? Do you have any hobbies or anything like that? Let me know in the comments down below. And be sure to check out my Twitter and Instagram. They're both at HermanLonely underscore. And also, I stream over on Twitch at Lonely Herman underscore underscore. These are all in the description. Check them out and drop follows while you are there. And of course, be sure to share your social joy, friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know Lonely Herman's right chat, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.